welcome to the Midship Detective Agency. Which case would you like to solve? Please... Welcome, detectives. This is a big case. Let's check in with me. Stop worrying. We'll get right on it. Oh, boy. Am I glad you're here. Because we've got one doozy of a case. You just won't believe it, but... These babies are being stolen right here on the ship. <laughs> yeah, I know. Are there any suspects? Seven of them. And the ship's really big. Well, I think we're gonna need some help. No problem. Check out our new detectives. They're gonna help us crack this case. I just know it. Detectives, we need to catch that criminal and find those stolen paintings. And that means you're gonna have to search all around the ship. Susan? Our detective trainer will teach you how. You'll use a high-tech detective badge. This is an amazing all-in-one tool that you'll use to solve the case. Your team will share one badge. To use it, you will need to face the black and white pattern towards the center of the screen while holding it from the bottom. Make sure your fingers don't cover the pattern. And keep the badge straight up and down. You will also need to stand on the moss. First, you need to activate your badge. Pick up one badge and stand on the moss. Now, hold up your badge with the black and white pattern facing the screen. Well done! Now move your badge until it matches exactly with the outline. Good job! This badge number is now registered to your team. Now, let's practice. Move the magnifying glass until you find the key. Great work! Your badge can be used in different ways. You might need to rotate something slowly. Or, some things might need to be pushed. And if it starts to look like this, and you hear this noise, your badge is not straight up and down. So make sure you're holding it correctly. We will be giving you a case book. It contains a collection of our top suspects with information on each one. Read this over carefully. When you uncover clues, write them down so you can cross off suspects as you go. When only one is left, that suspect must be our criminal. The casebook also has a map where witnesses have reported suspicious activity. At each place, you'll find a piece of art. Hold up your badge toward the art and a secret place will be revealed. Search carefully for clues for stolen paintings. Go ahead and pick up your pencil and the casebook with a blue label. Start your search at this location. Go there now. No, I'm next. Four, four next. Four. Hold your badge a little farther back. Thank <laughs> you. 
Deck six because it's closer to where we're at. Sorry. No, you're good. Sure. going on here. Someone's been messing with those equipment. I know. Use your lid to burn the ropes. Hmm. What came out of that crate? Look. Sand and a gold coin. That's a clue. Come on. Write it down and keep going. Uh, 
Dusting off that window so we can see what's back there. Move your badge slowly. Sorry. Good work. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh, well, <laughs> at least we found one more painting. Gosh, with all these paintings we've collected, I think we're getting close. Keep going! <laughs> Hold your magnet over the metal objects and search for a clue! Mm. A bag of birdseed? What villain would carry birdseed? Better mark it in your casebook. Wow! You sure found a lot of clues! Who do you think committed the crime? On to the next location to identify the criminal! Okay, you've collected lots of clues. Now who do you think committed the crime? Just pick a photo and drag it into the box on the search warrant. Okay. Hmm. I don't see any Birds. evidence in this villain room that connects into the crime. Better check your casebook and try again. Oh, Jafar, Jafar. Oh. Get something you want to do. Now, let's check the state room. A painting in the suspect's room. Great deduction. You figured out who committed the crime. And look at the security footage. The criminal's trying to escape. Quick, go to this location on the map and let's catch that criminal. Deck four. Detective work. Way to go! You can come back and help us anytime! 